the Kowalski brothers receive a warm welcome upon arrival at this farm. After all, they've helped secure its future. The two want to invest in their home region, the Rhone River Biosphere Preserve in the middle of Germany. The farmer here shows the brothers how the elderberry bushes are growing. The field is small, but if business with the Kowalskis continues as it has, then the farmer will be doing a lot more planting. Two years ago, I came to the Biosphere Preserve and suggested that we plant elderberries here. The response was pretty much to laugh at us and ask whether it was worth the trouble of planting just three bushes per year. But now the company is growing so fantastically that people listen to us. Suddenly we also need volumes that make it interesting for farmers. Everyone knows who the Kowalski brothers are here in northern Bavaria. Twenty years ago they stood behind the bar at a local discotheque. Now they've made their town, Ostheim, famous throughout Germany with their soft drink line. Bionada has been a spectacular success. One of the flavors they offer is elderberry. The brothers' office is now much too small. They've had to hire a lot of new personnel to meet the huge demand. Bionada is shipped from here to pretty much every corner of the country. The brothers have divvied up the jobs. While Stefan Kowalski oversees production, Peter Kowalski is out on the road taking care of distribution. Last year he was showered with prizes from the world of business, including Manager of the Year for Organic Products and Entrepreneur of the Year for Mid-Sized Businesses. Here in is Bionade. In here, Bionada means a lot of very hard work. It's nice work, but it's an endless amount of work. Out there, Bionada is a shining star in the galaxy of soft drinks. And it's hard to marry the two worlds. So that's why I'm really glad that Stefan can now come along sometimes. That's possible because we finally have a production manager who can take care of the whole technical side of things. Peter Kowalski's brother Stefan has been continuously expanding the production facilities in recent years, buying and renting new bottling machines. But he still has trouble keeping up with demand. In 2003, this plant shipped 3 million bottles. By 2007, that number had increased to 250 million, even though the brothers initially did without any advertising at all. Bionada was originally aimed at trendy niche markets in Hamburg and Berlin. Interest in Bionada is rising around the world, meaning the Kowalskis have to keep opening up new sales offices. So far, only 5% of their product is shipped abroad, but demand is taking off, particularly in Europe. We do the same thing abroad that we do in Germany. We find the right partner first, one who can develop and grow, maybe one who's already big. Then we find the right locations, where our product fits, and then we just get down to work. What's special about Bionada is that it uses no artificial flavors. It's brewed the same way as beer, but it contains no alcohol. The Kowalski brothers come from a long line of brewers who used to make Rhön Pils beer. But when sales of that dropped off, the Kowalskis began experimenting. Can you drink this stuff? No, it's too hot right now. It's around 70 degrees Celsius. That's the lautering, or purification temperature. Basically, this is a sugar solution, about 12% sugar. It doesn't look spectacular, it looks like beer, or bionada. And this is what bionada comes from. By the time it gets bottled, bionada is only 4.5% sugar. But above all, stressed the Kowalskis, it's organic. This year, the company plans to start selling the drink in the United States, Japan, and Australia. <laughs>